What's up guys? So I'm on my way to go pick up Mackenzie and Jacob. I'm feeling a lot better. As everyone can see, I don't have a huge abscess on my face anymore. Um, it's a beautiful day. It really is. It's a beautiful day. It's not bad outside at all. It's uh, 60 degrees on my mirror. So Ariana has basketball tryouts and Chavi stays after school today. So they're going to be there until about a little after four. Like I said, I'm going to get Mackenzie and Travis right now. I know the sun is so bright. I'm sorry. Nice blinker. So hopefully there's some room at the parent pickup line. I still have a few minutes before I have to go get them anyway, but, uh, you know, at least I'm not too far back on the line. I don't like to park where I'm going to be, uh, blocked in. I have my headphones in as well, so I'm sorry. Other than that, I'm feeling better. I don't have a big bump on my face anymore, so thank you to all my, uh, friends and everybody that checked up and checked up up on me can't even talk I don't even have work today and I'm not even tired but um again thanks for checking up on me I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers and only you guys can help me out with that part a thousand subscribers I need everybody to share my YouTube channel like it you know, if you could comment, comment. Um, also, I want to get my Facebook page. I want to have a little bit more interaction with that. So, I'm thinking about some, I don't know, subjects that we all can talk about. It could be a mom chat, you know, whatever. It could be anything. Um, and maybe going live on my day off one day on the Facebook page and you know I'll post it on YouTube as well but that's what I was thinking about doing so you guys let me know I'll probably make a poll um, to see if you guys are interested in you know me going live on Facebook one day a week whether it be you know a day during the week or it could be on a weekend um, I don't know. I don't know. We do have some exciting videos coming up. Uh, I just don't know, you know, how soon. But they will be coming, I promise. And just continue to support and, and love and, you know, enjoying every minute with me and my family. Because, again, we, we enjoy what we do. It doesn't get old, it doesn't get tiring, and again, they can always look back, you know, and uh, see everything, how they grew up, and uh, through the tough times, and the bad, and the good, so I'm uh, looking forward to that. So I'm going to go get the kids from school, I have two minutes to walk up there before they come out, but again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join the fam. And then uh, I'll catch up, vlog up when I get the kids. We'll see how their day was. All right, let's bring it back. Oh my gosh, I dropped my phone. Let's go, fam. So I just picked up the kids from school. As I was there waiting, the uh, principal had called me um, to let me know that there was an incident. That had happened with Jacob and another um, another student at school. Um, the student grabbed his wrist. She didn't give me the name, of course. Uh, you know, but maybe parents should talk to their kids and not have them touch, you know, other, you know, kids. Don't touch them. Don't push them. You got a problem, tell a teacher or talk to the, you know, the parents. Um... I mean, now he's saying that he can't play basketball for a week. I guess that's both consequences, but Jacob didn't touch anybody. 
Jacob didn't put his hands on anybody, and now he's being punished as well for not playing basketball, even whether if it's through recess or not. As many of you all know, Jacob loves his basketball. Um, so he'll still be able to play, obviously, when he's not in school, but it's a week, but it's not fair. It's extremely not fair that Jacob should not be able to play um, basketball, especially when he's at recess, when he didn't touch the other person at all. Um, but she did call me. Um, she did say that the other kid was going to have consequences. So, you know, just parents, talk to your kids. Tell them it's not cool to put your hands on another person. Vice versa. I tell Jacob, you know, I'm all about self-defense. Okay, I'm all about that. But, you know, a lot of these kids nowadays like to get competitive, and I understand that. And I'm going to correct myself from earlier with Ariana because she's not at tryouts. She's at practice. Uh, so she has practice until 4 o'clock, so we'll go back and get her. Um, Travi was supposed to stay after school, but they let him out. Um, he was supposed to be in after school care, but... It's a beautiful day anyway, so we might as well just have him home. The faster we get him home, the faster we can get his homework done and be done. So that was pretty much what had happened um, at school what? with Jacob. My mom made me real with James. Yep, it's the trend. So and I will get back to you guys um, more about that when we get home because I'm about to drive now. And I'll tell you the story what happened. Yes. With Daddy. Yeah, so Jacob would tell you the story of what had happened. If you want to explain to them uh, right now, no. you want to explain later? Yeah. Okay, so Jacob will explain what happened later on. Um, I get it. I would be upset too. It's just life isn't fair sometimes, and I, I try to tell my kids that, you know, it's not necessarily um, you or because of you. It's other kids, and other kids punish, you know, they ruin it for the other kids, so to speak. And like I said, Jacob, if you know Jacob, you already know Jacob's a very sweet boy. He helps out whenever he can. Um, he's honestly really, really good. So at school when they call and, you know, it's always usually the other kid, um, it's just very hard, you know, to hear and then hear him say that he can't play basketball. Again, it's not the end of the world. We have a park we go to. Um, Joe takes him to the park almost every day for him to shoot and practice, but it's just the, uh, the point on Jacob's side, and I get the point 100%. So, all right, let's go, fam. Make sure you watch this video to the end of the video. Um, to see who gets the post notification. Um, other than that, we'll keep you guys uh, we'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. All right, guys. All right, guys. Jacob's a little upset at the moment, as you can tell. The post notification shout out goes to Crystal Mafia. Thank you for having your post notifications turned on, liking, commenting, and sharing to the Let's Go Fan page and Instagram. If you want a shout out, all you have to do is follow us on Instagram or Facebook in order to get um, a post notification shout out. Just be sure that you are liking the pictures and commenting um, as much as you can. So thank you again, Crystal Mafia, for joining the Let's Go Fam. All right, guys, we'll catch you up later. I'll keep you up update of this week with Jacob and the whole basketball ordeal. But um, I don't know. I don't like it. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm going to go finish laundry, and then we'll do dinner and get the kids, you know, homework done. Got to get their homework done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. And, uh, not episode, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm weird. It's been a little bit of an off day, so just, uh,